It is one thing to use SketchUp and V-Ray to render an exterior render as we've talked about previously on this channel. But how do you render orthographic drawings such as sections? In this video, we're going to learn how to use Photoshop to import files, then render a section, add trees, people and planes, and use line weights. So let's get started. Now when you're adding PDFs that are to scale, you need to open them in a separate document so that they are to, to size and scale. And then drag them to the document you want to render it in, but they both must be the same resolution. Then I'm going to add a thick ground line that is consistent from one side to the other. That is one of the mistakes that I've noticed that some of you uh, make when you send me your work for review. And by the way, for those that who don't know, you can always send me your work and I can feature them in a critique video like the one I've done before and I will have it linked in the cards for you to see because it was truly inspiring. Now I'm going to select all the walls I'm cutting with the magic wand tool and then fill them with black. You can immediately see the contrast and the depth in the section after that and I recommend to always have it black and not grey because it has a stronger contrast. Next, I'm selecting all my glass with various selection methods and I'm not worrying too much about window frames because of the scale of the drawing so it will hardly show they are a little blue instead of white. Unless you want your frames black or brown, then that is a different story. And after I select them, I'm gonna fill them all with a light color blue. Next, I'm going to select the walls and color those according to which is closer to the view. So the furthest away is lighter. So keep double checking to your plan and section line which spaces are further and which are closer. You could also add materials on the wall if you'd like, but personally and my tutor's opinion is when you add a lot of material, the drawing can look heavily rendered. And the whole point of these drawings is to understand your project easily. And when there's too many materials, it can be distracting and you might lose the detail that you put on the actual CAD drawing. So try to have a balance. Instead, maybe focus on the actual CAD drawing and show your knowledge in architecture and then uh, put some of the materials that are really important to your concept. goes down haha <laughs> my bad great so I'm going to erase that line and texture and by that point I was actually debating whether to leave the grass just hang in there and call it a floating garden but 
I have to make it realistic. So instead of copying and pasting, I selected the rough thickness of the grass with the polygonal lasso tool and then with the stamp tool just stamped it and then deleted the, ex the excess by selecting the layer of the grunge texture and the ground line and then erasing it. To blend the top and make it a bit grassier, I took the grass brush and erased some of the top to get the texture back. I finally, I noticed the white rectangle and I fixed it by painting over it and then re-blending. With skies, I like to keep it simple, open and conceptual instead of having full opacity skies from one border to the other because it leaves room for the imagination. Next is adding multiple types of trees with various heights and opacities and I get those off Google as PNG. Added my red sculptures, plain images and then scale. What do you guys think of the section? I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and learned something interesting today. In my next video, I will talk about how to learn architecture and then continue our topic on architectural presentation boards next week. So make sure you are subscribed so you don't miss out on that. Question of the day is, which software user are you? Are you a CAD or a Revit user and why? Let me know in the comments down below. Don't forget to give this video a like and share because it helps support the channel so I can create more videos like this one. I'm Rasha Shiruru and I will see you next time.